I'm currently a professor of pharmaceutical sciences at the University of the Pacific, that's in California, Northern California, San Francisco. Um, but I'm also um, a co-founder of a biotechnology company in San Francisco that focuses on drug development for uh, heart disease uh, drugs. Uh, to, to be honest with you, the, the rigorous academics that I received while uh, doing my PhD, uh, to the, I was there from uh, 1999 to 2004, I did my PhD there. Uh, I think the rigorous academics were very important for providing me with the foundational knowledge to continue in the drug discovery. You know, I was in the pharmaceutical science medchem department. But also, uh, I believe that the, the, the relationships I built with my mentors and the way that uh, they taught me and mentored me and nurtured me to, to, uh, were very crucial in advancing my academic career down the line, you know, as, we, as we're going to discuss shortly. During my pharmacy education that was in my country, uh, home country of Jordan, and then I came to Toledo, I continued in medicinal chemistry. I fell in love with organic chemistry. And this combines with my passion for research and also the, the love for teaching made my uh, career choice in academia kind of very obvious. Then I went into the academic career and we were very fortunate uh, to, to work on a very exciting project that resulted in uh, a molecule that's called AG10, where basically, you know, is, 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 is a drug candidate that we hope that will be uh, approved by the FDA by the end of this year. I'm deeply honored and grateful for receiving this award. It was a very, very nice, like, you know, surprise when I get it, and, and I was very, very happy to do it. I mean, um, this, this award is not only a recognition of my personal achievement, but also it just kind of shows how the support and education and, and the struggle that is just kind of reflect all these things coming together and just highlight that actually that you, you need the teamwork to get this done. You need the, the, the to, to, to go through the whole kind of just recording of, of the path that you pass through. Uh, so you become very, very kind of humble and thankful for all the people who made an impact on your career from like the high school all the way, you know. Um, Another thing about this award is kind of reinforces your connection to the, your alma mater, to you to lead one. You feel that, you know, this is the institution that was fundamental for your success. And that's the way that you need to give back to that institution and to the people who supported you. Finally, actually, it's just motivates you to give back to the community because when you are talking about you Toledo, it was a community of the faculty, the staff, the students, everybody who actually was very fundamental and important for, for for what you accomplished so far. So again, it's just kind of a, it was a very kind of surreal thing where you're just very thankful, humble, but also you start remembering every person who made a positive touch on your, on your life and, and allow you actually to reach where you are currently now. The professional accomplishment is actually the discovering of a drug called AG10, A for al Hamadsha, which is my last name and uh, the, the, the name of the drug AG10, but now we name it Acromidas, which is the scientific name. Now, Acromidas is a drug that I discovered for a heart disease called transthyretin amyloid cardiomyopathy. This is a heart disease, heart failure cardiomyopathy, where basically, and it's called Alzheimer of the, of the heart, where protein plaques start building on the heart muscle, and the heart muscle becomes thick and ineffective. Now, in the past, it was underdiagnosed, but now we are realizing it's very prevalent. You have like almost a half a million cases in the US that has been treated. Recently, there are some medication for it, but what I discovered is a molecule that's extremely potent, and we believe this will be like one of the best in the class, you know? Um, we finish, uh, this is like a long journey, almost like a 10 year journey. And now we are waiting, we are very excited to know that the FDA has been reviewing it and we will know the answer in November of this year, you know, that, that, that hopefully it will be approved. And having that, for coming from academia to develop a drug that will help the, 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 the lives of millions of patients down the line, is just the most rewarding, you know, experience that any scientist could have, you know, to have, the, not the scientific impact, but to have that scientific impact translating into changing human lives, saving patients, is extremely rewarding. I think the, the most, it's a bunch of memories, but the, it all culminate in one thing. I met my wife, you know, who's from India, 
and I, she was a graduate student at Toledo and we get married in Toledo actually. That's, that's probably the, the most kind of uh, amazing thing that happened there, you know. I mean, there's two faculty. My, uh, I have two advisors. I was fortunate to have Dr. Richard Hudson, my main advisor, and then uh, I have the, the, the close mentor, Dr. Alan B. Tilly who is a faculty at the School of Pharmacy now. Now, uh, Dr. T, we call Dr. Dr. T because I, uh, my name is Dr. Al Hamashi. They call me Dr. Al, my students here. And Dr. T had a long name, so we call him Dr. T. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, he's a person who actually uh, inspired me to think different. I mean, he was available 24-7. He's just a selfless educator and passionate about research. I mean, um, he supported the, he supported me in, in, in moments of weakness, which is actually when you need the support, right? Both on a personal and academic level, to have someone who's very genuine, who's there for their students, for science and for personal life, is extremely rewarding. That's how you nurture the students. And I learned a lot from him, and that's something I'm, I'm working hard to, 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 to match and, and, and apply to my current graduate students. Yeah, I think there are two main things. Focus on quality. When you are doing excellence in everything you do, it sounds a little bit you know, difficult, you have to do more work, but if you focus on excellence on everything you do over time, this builds up and you will see the result. The result will come later something that you are not going to see it, probably if you cannot see it right away, uh, you will see it down the line. That's what I'm saying. Don't take shortcuts. Always take your time and focus on excellence and build a reputation. That this is a person that who just has been very precise, very focused, very doing good. The other thing is that stay resilient. There are challenges. You're going to face challenges wherever you see. And we are facing more challenges as you know that the world is evolving into biotech and AI and all these things. So no matter how small, set yourself apart by building that strong resilience that you're going to face the challenges and you're going to keep moving forward regardless of all the obstacles that you have. I guess the story of the underdog in drug discovery. This is an example of somebody, you know, who kind of uh, develop a drug. I and mean, we hope, as I told you, by the end of this year, we'll get the approval. This shows actually the example of an underdog. I love this story because coming from University of Toledo, you know, uh, where we have excellent teaching and resources, but there are some limitations. This tells you that with determination, hard work, and a bit of luck, of course, I mean, you need a bit of luck, you can accomplish amazing things. Not many academicians, even at top institutions, can claim that they discover a drug. It's something that's extremely difficult. So sometimes people can feel that life is unfair. However, what are you gonna do? You have two things, as I mentioned, focus on excellence and continue hard work. This actually, you can be um, two important things that will help you accomplish this, you know, success for an underdog is that you have to be creative and resourceful. You can always have limitations. So basically that you have to find the right resources, the right creativity, how we accomplish the job with the, limit with the limit limited resources that we have. But another important thing, it takes a village. You need to build a community of support around you. You need to stick with the people who believe in you and who are gonna support you down the line. Because down the line, you're gonna face challenges and the people who believe in you, like what happened to me with Dr. T and everybody at the college, it just kept you, motive, keep motivating you to move forward. So uh, I think overall, this underdog story is a story of hope, resilience, how some kid from Jordan who came to Toledo and did a PhD, right? was able down the line with continuous hard work to discover a drug that will make an impact to impactful change to millions of lives. This, I think, uh, an incredibly motivating stories to my students, my kids, and hopefully all the graduate students from Toledo and other institutions that have, you know, similar situation.